What's going on guys, new review today. Something quite cool, and this is the only reason I got it, is because it's a shell ejection gun. It's the electronic repeater. Um, just make sure you're on the right review, because there are it's very hard to find reviews for a lot of these products. I couldn't find a review for this one online. So I uh, jumped it and bought it. It was only uh, £9.99 for Smith's. Um, so I already took all this stuff out of packaging, just, just for ease of time. Okay, so it, um, you can just flip on the trigger. Um, quite a small gun, you can see it's a bit too small for me in my hand, but um, the shell injection, which is pretty cool. Um, put the shell in my pocket. Um, eight shells, you can see they're double sided. Usually there'd be one rim on the side and then there'd be the bullet, but because this is designed for children, so you know, so they don't have to, so they can't jam the gun up. It's double sided, so you can use it double sided, I believe. Um, they, this company also makes the um, pump shotgun, which I'm, I bought on e uh, eBay, which is coming soon. I bought it from America. Um, uses the same noise. <coughs> Sounds pretty realistic. Um, you know, if you've got kids and you want to take the batteries out, it's right there. So you can cut the hammer back and fire it. You, see, like, you can press the trigger quite lightly and it doesn't fire the noise. Um, you can cock it like that. Like that. Alright, so you, the loading gate's right here. Like that, that's one. I haven't used this yet, it's just the first time loading it. You have to get your finger quite far in, it doesn't just like slide in. It's spring tensioned. You get it in like that and then push it in. So you can get another one in. Another one in. I hope I don't know if you can get all eight in there. It would be easy to do because this is a long gun. I don't know how many I got in there. One, two, three, four. Right, so it can fit four in. Right, so that's one in. Oh, it goes quite far. It's quite hard to pull back. You can see it chamber it like that. Maybe the mechanism is a bit stiff because it's new, but it does quite, you know, it just eject quite violently. And it spins it as well. See if you can see this. That's a really violent ejection. It's a bit stiff. Um, I think it's because it hasn't been used before. Um, you know, it just takes a bit of while to to loosen it a bit. Um, but it is quite a violent ejection. Now I did drop one on the floor, and I don't know where it is. That's the trouble with shell ejection. So we're going to load them in again. It's really violent shell ejection. I'm not even joking. That hit the ceiling and went straight down again. The shotgun one that has come in is um, not that violent. It doesn't really eject quite far. This one is ridiculous. You have to push the loading gate in, spring, and then you push and then push it in so it clicks. Chamber it. And then eject them again. does get a bit jammed after a while, just keep pulling it slightly. Of course you don't have to fire it, you can just keep doing that. It 
Yeah. There you go. It's got some fake engravings on the side, um, like an eagle. Um, the wood's not that you know high quality, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it kind of only fit, it only fits four in. You might be able to modify this to fit you know all of them in. Um, but yeah, quite a nice realistic gun. It does get kind of stiff. You might be have to, might have to oil it. Um, but yeah, it does have a fake chamber. It does chamber the, the cartridge. Let's see if you can muzzle load this. I'm not too sure. Yep, you can muzzle load it. You can sort of see it in the chamber. And you pull it out. Um, it captures on the, the back of the, because this is a bolt that goes back, the bolt has a spring tension and when it sort of gets it open enough it will spring out. So to muzzle load you open it, you um, drop the front end in, um, push it in and then sort of push it in and guide it in and it will guide into the chamber. Like that. But yeah. It's an interesting design. I wouldn't recommend it to kids because look how look how the shells eject. Say I'm firing at you. It goes across the room about 20 feet. The kids would lose their shells instantly. The only way you'd have to buy this is to take the shells and keep them because then they will lose the shells within five minutes. It's that simple. They will. Um, Unless your, unless your kids are quite intelligent enough to, you know, watch where they're going, but they're not. They're going to be messing around with it, going like that, and it's going to go flying across the room. Um, so that way, I'd probably say it's for older kids. I got it for the shell ejection and the shell loading. You know, this would be crap without it. I think because you know, it'd be, it's alright for a kid's toy, but you know, for someone that's slightly older, it's going to be pretty boring. You know, doing that. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's okay for the child injection, but I wouldn't get it just, you know, just just because you, you know, wanted to a, a toy gun, other than for the child injection, if you want a prop. Um, I think I've already lost one of the shells, I'm not too sure. It sort of hit the ceiling and went somewhere, I'm not too sure. Um, the build quality is not amazing, it's by Ch Choi, Choi Hing Toys, um, Dong Guan, made in China. It's a pretty cheap... And it is, there is a lot of flex to it, so be careful with it. Um, it does feel kind of, you know, strong though. It doesn't feel like you drop it and it'll break. Um, I will say that the lever is a bit bendy, and I don't like that because the mechanism sometimes jams, and you try, you need to use force to unjam it. And you know that's pretty good, not pretty good for that. Um, but yeah, I can't complain too much about you know the grip being too small for me because. It's a kid's toy, you know. I can't say, oh, it's too small because it is for a kid anyway. You can do the um, Terminator style loading. You can't do the do that because the handle will not physically do that. Even in real life, it won't do that. But you can load it like that. But yeah, it, it works quite well. After once you start using it a bit, it comes a lot smoother. Like it's a lot smoother now. Um, but yeah, it's a bit stiff in while it's out of the packaging. Uh, I'm not sure how the system works yet. Um, I'd have to use a flashlight to see inside the, the gun. Um, I think it uses a spring system to push the uh, shells in. I don't know. It is quite a cool system though, and it, yeah, I recommend it. So um, I'd rate it a 3 out of 5, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'd only get it for the shallow ejection. Other than that, don't bother with it. If you're not going to get through the shallow ejection. So thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.